what's going on welcome to part four of the build it is pouring down rain and it's freezing cold so I'm sorry for the low light situation you're about to encounter got the garage door closed because it is freezing cold like I said um, but anyways I'm gonna take you guys out to the garage and uh, show you what I've got going on so far um, still waiting on the money for a new turbo so I can put everything back together in the engine compartment um, but I'll show you what I've got going on alright we are out here in the garage and uh, I'm going to show you real quick there's one of the parts for the back seat there's the bottom half of the back seat the other part of the back seat is underneath the car I have my front seats. Yes, this garage is cluttered. I'll show you. Door panels, front back bumper, uh, wheel liner, wheel well liners, the side skirts, old or the new side skirts are up there. I got my parents' seat or lawn chairs. Got my car seats in here. Got the core support with radiator, AC condenser, and AC fans. Or uh, auxiliary fans. All my parts in the back of the car currently. I'm going to show you the inside of the car. A little hollow. <laughs> Just a little hollow. The panels are off. Most of the interior trim is off. I'm currently getting that side right now. I already got all this side done. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this panel here off. Uh, didn't realize you have to actually take this panel off before you can get the cell panel trim off of there. So I'm currently struggling with that. So I, I broke it off pretty bad. Pieces of the cell panel trim are still down inside the quarter. So I gotta get that quarter panel. Uh, plastic off there the the quarter uh, trim so I can get the cell panel trim off so about to I'll probably start tearing apart the dash here soon once I get the rest of the interior out of here because let me tell you what I've got going on for this plastic I'm still kind of figuring up the paint scheme I want in my head um, as far as interior exterior I'll go ahead and tell you guys now I don't remember, I can't remember if I told you already in any of the other parts of the videos. The car is going to go a flat pearl or a flat metallic white. Um, I'm not a white fan, but I love the look of flat white. Everybody always goes flat black or gloss black everything. I don't want that. The car is going to be flat pearl or flat metallic white. Wheels I'm going to go with are black with red highlights roof of the car down around the back window uh, door handles spoiler um, the gas tank or the gas cap cover is all going to be carbon fiber mirrors carbon fiber um, I might do some carbon fiber in the inside I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do just yet Streetcar Takeover, if you guys don't know who Streetcar Takeover is, they run with uh, 1320 videos. Um, I've been messaging back and forth with them the past couple days on Facebook. And uh, next year on May 6th and May 7th, they're going to be here in Indiana at the Indianapolis um, Lucas Oil Drag Strip, which is an NHRA track. So I've been messaging back and forth with them to figure out what NHRA qualifications and regulations I have to build this car to to run that track. Basically, I'll be in either the stock or the super stock division. Um, if I go stock division, I cannot run a roll bar or a roll cage. Interior has to be 100% original. Everything intact. So as far as that, I will have to run super stock division. So in the super stock division, I gotta have a roll bar or a roll cage. So I'm gonna build build a roll bar in that, and uh, I'll definitely have a video strictly just for the roll bar. Um, 
I'll have some structural reinforcements along the entire car. Uh, back seat's gone. It's going to stay out. So I'm going to build uh, some type of removable firewall between my trunk area. Um, so there'll be some kind of firewall between the trunk and the uh, front of the car. It's going to be removable. Uh, and then I'll have the roll bar that comes up back behind my head and passenger's head. And uh, with five point harnesses. Oh, I forgot to mention, guys. I do have the car back down on the ground. Suspension, everything's bolted back up, not tight. See if I can pull this. See if I can pull this hood up a little bit. Hood is unbolted. The struts are not mounted tight yet, but everything else, everything else is pretty tight. Um, as you guys saw in part three, engine is done and it's ready. I uh, just got to wait for the turbo and to put the flywheel and everything on it, the new flywheel. So it is ready to go other than the turbo. The turbo is sitting right there in my O'Reilly's box. And then there's a little surprise for you guys of what's coming up. Some nice roll of plastic. I'll be making stuff out of that. So I'll be back with you guys. i got to change the battery in this camera. And uh, I'm going to start pulling stuff apart. Anyways. <clears throat> a little bit of update on uh, what I've done so far off camera. Um, as you can see, I got the spare tire out, um, all the carpeting back here, the carpeting that went up underneath the back seat. That's well, it's not really carpeting; it's more like um, that foamy stuff. Um, got all that stuff out of here. Uh, currently got all the trim panels except for this trim panel here, which I only have two clips left to do. Uh, that one I still have to unbolt that uh, quarter brace <clears throat> for the unibody structure so I can unbolt my um, seat belt and the top bracket for the seat belt as well so I can get that whole quarter uh, that whole quarter trim piece out of there um, and I can start working on everything um, sorry I didn't get any of the stripping on, on the <laughs> stripping of the interior on camera but I'm planning on getting some on camera today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this this panel off for you guys so you can see how to get them out. Um, get that one off on camera. So let me climb inside of this car and let's get to work. So, in the car now. Ouch. See, what I'm going to do. See, I've got a lot of repair repairing to do on some of these parts. Like here, here I actually broke this hen lighter, this panel, so I'm gonna have to get a new one. Um, it's not a big deal. Broke a lot of clips, as you can see here. Clip broken there. Um, a couple clips in there broke. So, anyways, let's try to get this son of a gun out of here. That was easy. <laughs> wow, that was really, really freaking easy. It doesn't want to close. I got one more clip down here to undo. Oh, there she is. I do have a lot of work to do to getting this all out. And uh, actually, while I'm doing this, I'll throw up a couple pictures of designs for roll bars for this car because <clears throat> I'll let you guys know now that oh, I am planning on building a roll bar for this because I have to because Streetcar Takeover and 1320 videos, um, they do events every year. And the next event is coming May 6th and May 7th to Indiana, the Indianapolis Lucas Oil Drag Strip. And it's an NHRA track, so I have to abide by NHRA rules and regulations. So, <clears throat> since I'm stripping interior, um, backseat at least, uh, I have to have a roll bar because it will be a super stock. 
won't be in the stock ca uh, category of be a super stock. So I'll go ahead and I'll throw up a couple pictures for you guys to show you a couple ideas on um, what kind of roll bar setup I'm going to do. But there's going to be a lot of modifications uh, to those designs to make it my own. So I'll throw it up right now. Um, I'm sorry this is going to be a long video. Um, definitely going to be a long video because I'm getting closer and closer to to really be able to start working on this and really start doing my designs and what I want to do to it. So my videos from here on are going to start getting a little bit longer. Uh, between 10 to 15 minute videos and maybe even longer. So I apologize for that. Anyways, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to start mocking some stuff up. Um, pulling my, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling all my seat belt stuff. Those will be gone. No longer going to have standard seat belts. I'm going to have four or five point harnesses in this car. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start unbolting all this stuff here. Unbolt, take all my seat belts out, and I'll come back to you guys when that's done. And I'll get all this interior stuff out of here, clean this up inside so you can see better. So I will be back. Hey, what's going on, guys? Let me show you real quick. Hello. All right. Carpeting is out, center console is out. Some of my trim pieces are sitting right there, others are sitting up top on top of the blazer body. All right. So got the carpeting out there's no rust there is absolutely no rust I'm so happy I don't have to fix anything in this car so a little disappointed called the local Audi dealership twelve hundred dollars for new carpet so I might resort to my own um, my own uh, workings so let me show you what the carpet looks like Ching, ching. Okay, here's the carpet. See, I can't just put my own carpet in there because this has foam on it for the contours and all the little nooks and crannies and everything of the floor pans. It's all foam formed. So I'm going to figure out, I'm going to do my research on how to make my own form mold molded carpet and I'll go that route. So, that being said, I need to do my research. Anyways, here's the beautiful engine with the bracket, which I didn't get any paint right there because I had this covered up, which that doesn't show anyways. So I'm not a, I'm not worried, but all, everything is painted, ready to go. All I gotta do is wait on a new turbo. Fresh oil change with, uh, Oil I've been using is Rotella T6. Rotella T6 has zinc in it. It's diesel oil, but I use 540 in this motor. It works phenomenal. Uh, exhaust wise, I'm going to keep the single for now. I'll branch off of it and do a dual exhaust later on down the road. Um, and I'd also have a little bit of a spoiler. I'm going to build my own interchangeable exhaust. So I'll have, I'll have duals with MagnaFlow, like I've got it now, but in duels. And then I'll also have uh, a two bolt flange on the back side of the muffler and on the exhaust, on the, on the tail on the pipe coming back. And uh, also take a piece, another piece, and, ha and bend it as a straight pipe dual with these, this style tip right here so it still looks like it. Um, and so it fits the holes whenever I make the mesh for my back bumper. But anyways, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna build my own interchangeable exhaust rear half. Uh, it's already straight pipe three inch from the turbo back, so all I got is a muffler on it. So might as well make it interchangeable and straight pipe it for the track and uh, everything. So with that being said, guys, I am gonna cut it off here for part four. Uh, stay tuned for part five. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with part five just yet, but it's gonna be 
it's probably going to be a little bit later on down the road. You guys probably won't get part five for uh, probably a few weeks or closer to a month, month and a half, because I do need to put some money back so I can get my headliner material, so I can redo my headliner, all the trim panels. Uh, I got a few, get a few new trim panels. Um, I'm going to buy the center console and everything for it. Um, from here, here back is going to be black. From there forward is going to be white. The separation is going to be red. Um, so I got to put some money back so I can buy stuff. Um, so I'm going to be putting a few things up on eBay. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up part four of the build on my Audi TT. And uh, stay tuned for some adventures in the turd wagon and also uh, some kind of screwing around with Naive Steve. So we'll catch you guys later.